and welcome to Raflims. This is Swaroop Hussain. In this hands-on video tutorial, we will learn how we can add multiple languages or regional languages in Koha library system, not only in OPAC but also in the staff interface. Uh, we have some guideline available on Koha Wiki site, so we just need to open our web browser and we can write uh, Koha additional languages or multiple languages or whatever you want to write. So Koha install additional languages and the very first link is about the Koha Wiki site, Koha Wiki community site. So there you can find the complete instruction, uh, instructions to install additional languages for Koha OPAC and intranet staff clients. I mean the staff client. So there you can see the packages available for current version and packages available for older version and if you are using git so you can have a tab ball so you can use this and a number of things available in fact you will find how we can remove an additional translation so the language packages is about the translation of koha from english to some other languages right now uh, i'm using 21.05 so let me go to the current packages so there you can see we can check what we have already installed in our system by using this command and uh, we can install additional languages by using this command i mean we can check what available on koha uh, for the translation and then we can install uh, any languages or by using the language code so let us open my terminal it's a control alt t and there we need to activate the admin mode by using sudo so let me zoom this and then we can check uh, what we have already installed in our koha system by using this command so to do koha dash translation space double dash and list so there is no language right now install my koha is the english version so i'm going to install some uh, other languages so i need to check what available on koha as a translation language or as a regional languages so here's a list for example i'm going to install urdu so here's the code for urdu or if i want to install english great britain so i can use uh, this one and i can use for new zealand english this one or if I want to use, uh, I think it's Persian, I don't know, it's Arabic or whatever it is, French, so I can use this one. And if I want to install Japanese, so I can go with this. Uh, ha, ha. I'm not familiar with, with, with multiple uh, language codes, so I'm going to use this. For example great britain so let me see the next command so to install our new language we need to run this command this one uh -huh, i'm trying to copy this okay so now it has copy and i just paste here I'm not going to execute this command before I need to paste the code. And instead of language code, I would paste the language code. And now it's going to install. See, this cursor is blinking and it will install English great britain in my koha system 
when it complete the process it will show me a some warning so let us share that warning okay so it has done now and don't worry about this warning so let me open my web browser it's local host uh, 8000 and opac is available local host 8001 Uh, I need to log in here. So when we complete the installation of language package, we need to go add the Koha administration and then global system preferences and there we need to go add the uh let me see where i have to go i think uh this one L18 and L10 and I don't know what it is anyhow so we can see we have uh, in languages we have English and we have English Great Britain so it's actually United Kingdom so I have installed this one in the staff interface and in the OPAC and now let us install another language let's suppose uh, i want to install uh, arabic just an example so instead of this uh, code i will use this code or we can install okay let's go with arabic and now it will take few time okay done so now you can check your staff interface so there we have we need to refresh this see we have arabic here you just need to check here here also and we need to change this from don't allow to allow for opaque languages display for multiple languages display on opaque and we need to save this and now let me refresh my staff interface and opaque as well okay so bingo we have english here 
and we have English that is default English and this one is the Great Britain English and we have Arabic also show you here on the OPAC we have Great Britain for example this cart when I just change this to Great Britain and this cart is changed to folder now see and uh, there's no different in English languages so okay when I turn this to Arabic so let us see what happened So now this is Arabic Koha completely translated Arabic Koha so you can check with your uh, your own language your regional language so and you can make it out there we can also work on the same let me come to staff inter I mean home page and then I'll show you that So this is quite easy and effective way to install multiple translated languages. So this is now the Arabic and we can shift to English, Great Britain. And we can also go to the default English. Or patterns are also allowed to use whatever they want to use so we this way we can add multiple languages a number of languages what actually available for Goa so that's all for today this is Farooq Hussain and you are watching Raflames thank you very much